Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad that you're here with me. 1901, William George Jordan. The book, The Power of Truth. One of my favorite quotes from there. Life is all about the conscious training of the mind and the body to respond unconsciously in alignment with our values and those things that are most meaningful to us. The conscious training of the mind and the body. Hmm. You really think about that. To respond unconsciously. Well, I think of great piano players where the mind and the body are coordinated together in everything that they do, and they're not consciously thinking anything. They're into it, and they're able to just create this masterpiece. Great athletes, great artists, much the same. They're able to, because of their training, because of their practice, they're able to be, act in the moment without that conscious training, to respond instantaneously without having to think everything through. How can we as leaders develop that talent? One of the ways that we can do that is by, de- by engaging our subconscious mind with questions. And I call those empowering questions. Questions that we don't allow our conscious mind to answer. We let them reside with our subconscious. And our subconscious will work on them how long? 24 hours a day. So last week I'm with a leader, with one of my clients. And we've kind of taken over this little alcove in a five-star hotel. It's just a beautiful lobby, peaceful, had a nice chair and so and table, and we were around it just working away. And we worked throughout the day, and in the evening, as it was getting dark, this lady came in and sat down at a grand piano, literally not more than five or six feet away from us. And as she started to play the music, we happened to be simultaneously in a very intense moment challenges on how to become better leaders, how to overcome some obstacles. And we were really into it. And the music was like somebody wrote a score to a movie because it was perfect with the emotion that was being generated with what we were talking about. And it actually elevated our thinking. When she concluded, about after 30 minutes, she got up and I immediately turned to her and said, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your wonderful talent and for sharing that with us. And she said, oh, Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I thought maybe I was interrupting your business meeting. I said, no, you weren't at all. And then my companion person that I'm coaching, he stood up and said, ma'am, that was beautiful. We couldn't have asked for anything nicer. You have an amazing talent. And she glowed. I mean, she absolutely glowed. She floated out of the room. Now, Later that mo- the next morning, I'm with my client, and we're sitting there, and I have my Empowered Wealth Journal, which I take with me everywhere. And it has, on one side of it, the things that make my day intentional, and on the other side, how I capture those things that I want to remember that are important to me. And this client of mine is very well organized. He just, you know, he's, he, well, of course he is. To be as successful as he is, he's very, very um, proactive in what he does each day prioritizes everything, makes lists. But I thought, what would it be like to have him fill out one of these? I wonder if that would be any different for him. So I tore out a page, handed it to him, said, why don't you fill this out? So he filled out the morning. The morning is basically, what am I grateful for today? What three things can I accomplish today? Who am I meeting with? What do I know about them? What do I appreciate about them? What do I want them to know? How do I want them to feel? And what do I want them to do? And then the next thing is my empowering question. And he says, wow, what does that mean? I said, well, we talked about it a little bit. He says, well, I, I, said, I told him, I said, I like to put down something that engages my subconscious mind. Maybe it's the same thing each day. Maybe it's something different, depending on the day. that just engages that subconscious mind to go to work for me. He says, what did you put down today? And so we looked down and I put down, how can I be the answer to somebody's prayer today? Now, that was given to me by somebody else that was speaking at an event that I attended a couple of years ago, but I've used it ever since, and it's been so powerful. And as we talked about it, I said, I don't know if I've ever been the answer to anybody's prayer, but I want to be open to it. And he says, well, what about last night? That lady. And we both thought about that lady and how she just glowed and floated out of that room. Yeah, and she had an opportunity. If we hadn't said anything... 
She probably would have left and said, oh, I interrupted those businessmen in their deal. Nobody appreciates the work that I do. I just come in there and play, but nobody pays attention to me. She said, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we were an answer to her prayer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm entitled to know. But I do know this, that I'm very grateful that if I can plant that seed in my subconscious mind, that maybe, just maybe, I will be the answer to somebody's prayer someday. Let's be proactive in our lives in 2017. Let's find the ways that we can make more li life more meaningful and live life deliberately. Enjoy this week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.